Hi there, everyone. Christ, I've had a busy day today. Been sorting out three videos. I managed to get the three videos done. I was hoping to get the three videos uploaded today. But then, on my last part three of my, my video, at the very end, about ten minutes, I haven't got my mic on. So I'm gabbing away about the video, the interview we've just seen and all this stuff, and no one, nothing comes through. You didn't even hear me saying, well, thank you for being, for watching my videos and all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Please go and like to help get the analytics up on the YouTube and get the channel uh, video pushed out. You can get none of that. So if I just sit here again, Literally, with an hour, about a, an hour and a half before going live on here, and sit here and do the whole video again. But what I did is I just speeded it up just a little bit, because otherwise it would have been an hour long video, and I got it down to my... I like to try and get videos, if I do videos in the day, during the day or on the evening, I like to get them down to about 45 minutes max. And I think I got it down to about 46 minutes. So that was brilliant. I just haven't been able to upload it yet onto YouTube. But that will be uploaded tonight, where this live will be uploaded tomorrow morning. So if you want to watch my lives, if you want to see these videos and see me make all the mistakes and all the cock-ups and everything else, come and join me on my lives. Because believe me, if I make too many cock-ups, I go through it and edit them out before I upload it onto YouTube. Especially if I use a lot of my cursy words. And if I don't use the right YouTube descriptive words for certain things, then I have to go in and edit all them out. So, I advise anyone, if you want to see me cock up some nights, come and watch me on my lives. I'm always cocking up. Anyway, it's like I noticed about five minutes before I was due to go live tonight at 8. That's why I went to 8.30. I got the wrong video name up. I thought, oh, darn, I've just done the videos for the parents' interview. I've just spent all afternoon doing those videos, editing them, recording them, editing them, uploading them, downloading them, you name me. Why would I be discussing them again tonight on my live? So I've had to go alter the time to 8.30, so it gives me a bit of time. Go and alter all the title, and then go and do my picture again. And update the picture. I'm thinking, God, I'm not with it at the moment. My head is going over time. Anyway, like the title says, I mean, we're looking at the interview of Stephen Stearns. Now, we've looked at Jane's two interviews. I don't know if there's a second interview of Stephen Stearns or Stefan. Stones, I should say. But I tell you now, I thought I thought the interview with Jane Soto was wow. And I thought this interview with Stefan Stones was wow. But the interview I'd advise anyone, it's on my it'll be on my playlist. Go and watch the it's in three parts. I've kept them down to about 45 minutes of videos. And so I've done it in three parts, and the parents, it's like, oh, we didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Really? Right? So please, go and watch them. If you're watching on replay, please, I will actually, when I, before I upload this to YouTube, I'll actually, I do now add, the cards 
and it'll be I'll let you know when the card link will come up okay it'll be sometime between this interview of Stephen Stearns and the body cam footage police body cam footage and it'll just come up on the top of the screen and I think it's on that um Matt Madeline Soto. Just Madeline Soto. And it just comes out the top of your screen. And it's got all the videos from the first one I've done right up to. And all the videos I've done and all the lives, it's got them all. There isn't many really, compared to some people who've got loads. I haven't got that many. But I'm sure I will have. Anyway, we're going to look at this interview. And it's of Stefan Stearns. So let me just get it up on the screen for you. Hang on. Is this working? Yeah. My first, yeah. I was just looking at the screen and I couldn't see my profile picture flickering to say I'm talking. But oh, crap. I thought my mic's gone down. But it hasn't. Right. Let's get me up here. Go down there. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to make that bigger. There we go. Now, I've just got to put up an acknowledgement to credit. If I go here, no, I have. I did have it, but I've. Oh. This is credit to JLR because I think the interview I had was only a short version. This is something like four to some minutes long. Okay, so. So, JLR, you get the credit for this. The link to the to this will be in the description. Right? So, if you want to watch it without my commentary over it, <laughs> this is a, that's the one you want to watch. Right? So, if you want to watch it without... Any commentary without my voice over going it and my opinions, my thoughts, or anything else, I'll put the link in the description for you to go and watch it. Anyway, let's go out there and go in here. And we are going to start because, as I said, it is 43 minutes, nearly 44, nearly 44 minutes long. 11313. Today's date is February 27, 2024. The time is 1916 hours on Stearns. Okay, so we just, I know that you already spoke to the other detective, right, about everything that kind of happened today. If you can just kind of go over it with us one more time, the timeline from like when you guys woke up and took her to school and all that. <sighs> So we woke up early. Um, the plan was that we were going to get McDonald's breakfast on the way. So we made amazingly good time. I don't mean to interrupt you, okay? Um, neither of us were here yesterday. So if you can be kind of... Um, woke up around 7, 7.15, somewhere around there. Uh, which is an early start for us. But she, had, we had talked about getting McDonald's breakfast beforehand. So we want to make good time. Um, we did make good time. We got out the door maybe 7.30, 7.45-ish, maybe. Got over to the area. Stop there. 7.30, 7.45-ish, did you say? Well, uh, it's Jane. Who's lying here? Because Jane said you woke her up around about 8 a.m. trying to get the leash on the dog 
So she got up to help you because she didn't want the dog peeing on her bed because he gets a bit scared. So obviously, was she there at eight o'clock, St Stefan? Or was she not? Two contradicting points there. Now, if we're picking up on this, I'm sure law enforcement have. I hope to God they have. She was asleep in the car most of the time, just snoozing until we got there. We got to McDonald's. We're close to McDonald's. I said, you still want it? She wasn't interested in the McDonald's anymore, so we continued on. She wanted to be dropped off a little down the ways from the school. She's got this phase that she's been into lately where she's very particular about what car she's seen getting out of in front of the school. Um, she prefers her mom's car, but my cars are... Yeah, because your car, I am not kidding. I have seen the photos of the inside of that car. Oh, my Lord. It's epic. Peak style. I wouldn't even let my dog in that car. I guess kind of hoopties. Um, I get it. It's an image thing. But um, that was sometime probably between 8.20 and 8.40ish. Somewhere in there. It was along the stretch of the road that um, on the right side that has all the communities on it. Mm -hmm. Before you get to the overpass. You could see the overpass from where it was. Mm -hmm. um, so it was on that side on that stretch of road. And that's where I dropped her off. She said she was going to go wait for her friends. She was going to go find them and hang out and wait for her friends. And I asked if that was going to be okay. She said, yeah, it's fine. Um, kids get dropped off early enough as it is. It's not totally unusual for that to happen. It's just not usually that early that I drop her off. I mm -hmm. do school runs every once in a while for her. Um, I said, okay, let her out, have a good day, love you, thanks, love you too. And I turned around and was driving away, I was watching her in my rearview mirror to make sure that she was going where she was to go. She was moving in that direction, but she was rummaging around in her backpack or something. What I assumed was probably headphones or something like that, but find out later that she forgot her phone here, so she may have been rummaging for her phone. Um, but she was still kind of making her way towards towards that direction, so it looked okay, it looked like any other day. And I just continued on. Okay. When you said you dropped her off, like, in the area, kind of, like, where exactly did you drop her off? So if you pull down the street going towards the school, mm -hmm. um, you've got that whole strip of communities on the right side there. Mm -hmm. It was in that stretch of sidewalk there we pulled in and maybe maybe about halfway up the street or so and she was like right here's good was it like in one of the apartment complexes the church Not in it was outside one of the apartment it was just on the sidewalk on the That's side of the road, road there just like a tuck and roll you know okay so like if i were to be on the road where With the maps like the what do you remember seeing that you dropped her off at i remember the the overpass is up ahead. Mm -hmm. Sidewalk was on the right. Row of trees. There's, I think, a median in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was another community, maybe across from that, before you get to the church. Mm -hmm. So it was like before the church. So Town Loop Boulevard's that street that connects to the school. Yeah. Is that, is that the the street that you? Is this which one? So that's Town Loop Boulevard, right? Town that's Loop, the one yes. that. And where's the school located here? The school's right here. The school's right there. Okay, so the school would be on the left in this case. Here's the overpass. So you, can, you guys came from this about, side? Yeah, we okay. came from Town Loop, I think, mm -hmm. which is Town Center. Yeah, so we made it right here and then pulled somewhere, somewhere about. So you came from Town Center and turned onto Town Loop. Yeah, where's where's the church? Is this the church here? Uh, there is a yeah, so that's the church. Okay, yeah. so. So we weren't up to the church yet, so we were pulled on here, and then we pulled maybe about halfway up here, and I dropped her off somewhere in this this area here. And she walked from there to the school? Yeah. It's, it's a pretty long way. It's maybe a block or so, but it's not out of the ordinary for her. She likes to do that sometimes. She likes the cold weather. She's wearing her hoodie. 
uh -huh. the cold wall. So you dropped her off near Lilac? Does that sound right? Yeah, it wasn't at a cross street. It was just at... No, Stefan. Her mother would drop her off at the school or at the church. You dropped her off maybe what? Four, five times? So how do you know what is normal? Her mother knows. Just a bit of the sidewalk there. So did you merge into the sidewalk or did you stop in the middle of the street or? I just pulled over to the sidewalk there. Let her hop out. How often do you drop her off? This might be the fifth or sixth time I've ever done it. Okay. And when you drop her off, where do you normally drop her off at? Um, normally down the street from the school. She requests that a lot. Like the it, same it, area or somewhere especially else? Especially if it's sometimes in the church parking lot, sometimes just wherever she tells us to let her out, um, as long as it's close, you know? So it was halfway between Town Loop and, uh, and Town Center and the church? Yeah, it was like. It's just in this stretch right here. Like we got about maybe halfway up and okay. was there. The McDonald's that you guys were going to stop at, did you pull into the plaza at any point? No, she 86, the idea before we even got there. What, what do you mean by 86? Uh, poo pooed the idea, didn't want it anymore. Okay. Wasn't in the mood anymore. At any point while you were driving to the school, did you make a U-turn? Uh, yeah, I tried to sell her on McDonald's one more time because I was still kind of hungry, but at that point she was also just wanting to get to school. Okay, so where we turned right back around? Where did you make that U-turn at? Uh, actually, the school park, uh, not the school parking lot, the church parking lot. Uh, I pulled into that, turned around, and pulled back out. Um, did the UE there and went back to the McDonald's. And she still wasn't having it, and that's when we came back. See, the McDonald's is on the same town loop or town center it connects to the same road that the mm -hmm. that the, that the school's school on. on yeah so, so it's loop. like a straight shot so you guys came from just so i can kind of get a good vi visualization town center and mm -hmm. what, what where did you come from town center uh town center so where was the mcdonald's um, i'm so bad at reading these i'm sorry um so we, we came all town center. So we came across uh, on Town Loop, I believe. Is is that the school that is that the road that the school is on? No, this is Town Center. Okay. So you, you said you were on Town Center and then you made a right on Town Loop, which yeah. is the one that takes you to the school. Yes, correct. Right. I think you passed it. But what what I'm saying is before Town Loop, uh, or I'm sorry for Town Center. What, what street did you take? Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm bad with the streets around here. How, how do you usually get to the school? Uh, I just take John Young and then wait till I see the McDonald's and make a left there and then follow that around and that goes straight into the, the road that the school is on. And just use, use the landmarks and I don't, I don't memorize the street names. Is that Jay with you? Yeah. Yeah, so this is JYP. I mean, at the McDonald's, you turn right? And then you said you made it left at the McDonald's? So yeah, that's so Jong Young Park, Young, where you're going north on Jong McDonald's, Young. and then go around, and then that shoots straight into the road that she's on. Okay. Because that's. I believe that's the correct road. Yeah, well, that's the fastest way to get there. But you told me you came from Town Center and Town Loop. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know the street names. Okay. I'm sorry. So, I'm doing no, that's good. so now that we know that you came from Jung Young Parkway and you made a left on Town Loop, mm -hmm. so you yeah, passed the so McDonald's. Yeah, that was when she said no to McDonald's the first time. Okay. So you guys keep on going on Town Loop. Yeah, but at that point, we still had a lot of time to kill. Very early. 
So what did you guys do? Um, drove towards the school, made a U-turn, came back, tried to do the McDonald's thing again. She didn't want it. So like, where did you, one more time, where her, did you do the, the U-turn at? Uh, it, it probably was right by the church because it was still way too early for school. So it was on that stretch of road. I mean, they had the meeting there and a separation. So they, that left turn where the church is, um, you can make a U-turn there. And then after you dropped her off, what did you do? Uh, stayed, talked to her for a minute, made sure, you know, is it, is it all right that you're going early? Because it was, it was still early. Mm -hmm. um, she said, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to hang out and wait for my friends to get there, which she does sometimes. So it didn't, didn't sound, you know, outrageous or anything. Um, that was it. Told her to have a good day. I loved her. She told me she loved me too. I turned around to leave and I was watching her in my rearview mirror. And she looked like she was walking in the right direction. She was rummaging in her bag a little bit, like I said, but still sort of just shambling in the right direction while she was doing it. Um, so it looked, it looked normal, it looked okay. Okay, and then what did you do after you left the area? Uh, I left to go to the local vape shop because I needed some more vape juice. Um, they weren't quite open yet, so I ended up going back home. Waited about an hour or so, and then went back and checked the vape shop again. Uh, it was open, so I got what I needed there, and uh, came back. Do you remember what time you came home? The first time was probably right around 10, close to it. And then I waited here and went back to the vape shop, um, probably finished at the vape shop and came back home again a little after 11. Okay. You said the first time that you hung out with a little bit, right? Yeah. Was there when you got here at yes. 10? Okay. I think so. She might have been at her blood appointment. Let me double check. I know she, was, she had a blood appointment at some point during the day. Oh, it's okay. We don't have to ask her right now. Sorry. Everything's a blur. So she might have been here. She might have not have been here. I the believe first time. she was here because she she was sleeping in as much as she possibly could because she's been messed up with her work schedule. So she had to be here because she wanted to sleep in. Okay. I'll double check, but yeah, I, I believe she was here. And then what time did you say you left again to the smoke shop? Uh maybe after an hour or so, maybe eleven or so. Okay. And then what time did you get to the smoke shop? Um, it's maybe two minutes away so not long after that I stopped in and got some juice and what's the name of this one shop? Uh, East Wilbur on Okay. it's just over off of John Young it's not far from the school and then after the smoke shop what did you do? okay for how long? Um, at least until maybe 1230 45 ish, something like that. Um, and then what'd you do after that? Uh, I had a couple errands to run over on 192. Uh, she was talking about making a BJ shopping list. Uh, she just wanted to make sure I was back in time for us to both go pick up. Um, so I was visiting some card shops around the area on 192. Um, I'm kind of a nerd, so we had a new trading card game release and I was seeing what the situation was with it. Do you remember what places you visited? Uh, yeah, Coliseum of Comics. Um, stopped by a couple targets and I was going to go to House Rules Games down by Oak in 192. Mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't make it that far. I got a flat tire on the way. Do you remember where you got your flat tire? It was on 192. I pulled into over into one of those plazas somewhere. Um, it's been about 10 years since I... Yeah, we know you got a flat tyre. Your father told us as well. And your father told us how you shredded that tyre. How you could drive a car while shredding the tyre without pulling over when you first realised you've got a flat tyre. But you didn't. You, you had to get away from where 
Wherever you got that flat tire, you had to get away from that area. So you drove on a flat tire. Switched out a tire, though, so I made a lot of rookie mistakes and ended up pinning my thumb between the frame and the, oh, the no. jack. Yeah, I'm lucky it's not a lot worse than it could have been. Do you remember the name of the plaza by any chance? Do you remember like what stores were? It was it was like right before you got to Oak though, so it was one of those little strips. Okay. And then, but I did not make it back in time because of that. I thankfully had the spare. I put that on and tried to get back in time, but caught every red light on the way. She ended up leaving to pick up Maddie without me. I was about ten minutes late on that. I called her and let her know what happened. I apologized profusely because I promised I'd be there with her to go pick her up. Just sat and waited. And after that, she had already gone to get her, so I just sat and waited and hung out, straightened up the house a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was what do you mean you got the call? I got the call from her that had not come out. Started getting worried. Started making a Are you kidding me? You straightened up the house a little bit. From what your parents were saying, you were such a slob. You didn't clean up. You didn't help your parents do any chores around the house. Even though you said... You used to, you was looking after your parents because they got all these dogs and all this lot, and it was a bit too much maybe for them. So you was helping them out with the dogs. You did nothing except moan when the dogs woke you up because you slept all day when you was at your mum's and dad. So as you can imagine when you was at um, Jen's, you'd be sleeping. Calls to her family, be on the lookout, she might be walking to you. That's just when everything sort of started going down again. I wonder, was it? Did you check on the map the south one? The green one? I'm not sure where Greenville is. I noticed, I'm sorry, um, that she forgot her phone, right? Is it normal for her to not have her phone? Unfortunately, she's severely ADHD, as am I and her mother. Mm -hmm. um, so it is not uncommon at all, and that very, very usual thing for her to forget things. She'd forget her head if it wasn't screwed off. Uh, and we're forgetful about, you know, writing her about that. Point. It will remind her, and then it will leave our minds, and she'll say, okay, and then it will leave her mind. And is she on medication for this, though? Normally, yes. Um, she's been staying with her grandparents a lot this week while her mom was working. Uh -huh. um, so she has not been getting her meds for a while. Okay. So she was really squeezed. Where is mom working? What changed in her hours that she needs all this thing? She's training, so it's not a set schedule yet. Okay. It's just early this day, late closing training this so day. So different hours. Yeah, no, that takes a toll. So I came up here. She needed help. Um, I split my time between two the two places. I needed a visit. I'll need to be a little happier together. So. That was a great job, I think. Just help me do and where's the McDonald's? So we're busy. Right? Because the school's up here? And we're messing up the streets again. Yeah, tell me. This one's town center. Town loop. We're just trying to figure out your direction of travel, right? I'm, I'm so sorry. These, I'm so bad with that area over there, Hunters Creek. 
you said you made a U-turn mm -hmm. at the church to go see if she wanted McDonald's again, correct? Yes. Did you go anywhere else? Because I know you said you had time to kill. Yeah. Did you guys go anywhere else? No, we didn't go anywhere else. Is there a reason why you would be back on John Young Parkway? Uh, when we tried to go back to McDonald's a second time, um, we would have made a left over there instead and just looped around again. What do you mean? Just ma made a circle. Made a circle how? Can you show me on the map? Um, so, so this going, is the McDonald's going back right down here, to right? McDonald's. That's the McDonald's right there. Correct. Uh, so going back down and just straight shot back down. You again. would come down this way? I, I can't read that. I'm so sorry. Yep. I'll go. Where's the McDonald's? The McDonald's is right here. This is Town Loop. So okay. this is John Young Parker. John you guys Young. are coming okay. up with John this Young. Is McDonald's. Yep. And the school's on this corner. Correct. Over somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. So we come back out here, there, and then we can take a straight shot back down to the school again there. They, they connect. Town Loop and Town Center connect. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's so where did you make the U turn? The U the U turn was was on the street when we were gonna go back to McDonald's. And then we drove down the McDonald's here. And... All right, so so just so I don't get confused. You're going up Jung Young Parkway, right? You're going North Bend. Originally, yes. Right. You make a left, make a left at the left McDonald's. Here, go towards the school. Okay. Um, How far did you get up before you made the U-turn? So you're... We, we got... Is this, is this the school right here? Yep, that's Town, uh, town Loop. So we got up to here and then made a U-turn over here. Past the median. Yeah. Okay. So, and back to McDonald's. On Lincoln Town Loop. Still, Road. still time to kill. She still didn't want the McDonald's, but I did give her a raspberry and cheese Danish. So, did you go through the drive-thru? Did you no. go inside? No, didn't go inside. Where did you get the Danish from? Oh, I the antonyms that I brought from her. I gave a couple of those to let me go on. Okay. So she wasn't without food totally. I don't see it that. Right, because not only that, even if she was alive, how long was that? That had that Danish been in your car? And your car was a tip. Honest to God, it was a tip. So, yeah, piece of S H I T. So we just continued past it again and turned around and said, screw it, you know, just drop you off early. Okay, so you came back around to the McDonald's. Yeah. And then right onto the school. Right What's is not, that back on the John Young Parkway? Yeah, back on the John Young right. Parkway. It comes down here. Mm -hmm. And then here's Town Center again. So then you took Town Center yes. the second time around? Yes, and then made it right down to the school. Do you okay. remember what time you dropped her off? Uh, I estimated it to be sometime between 8.20, 8.40. Are you um, on your phone? Do you have um, Google Maps? I do, but I wasn't mapsing it. When you're giving her rights, does she sit in the front or the back? She sits in the front. She does the front. Do you mind if I look at your maps real quick? Yes. And just to confirm, also, you said so the second time around, you said you went up uh, John Young Parkway, you went through Town Center this time, mm -hmm. made a right on Town Loop, yeah. and then you said you and dropped it was off right here in this stretch here. Around this, okay. Which was before the underpass? Correct, before okay. the underpass, just before the church. Uh, the church was ahead on the left, the underpass was just beyond that, and school was just on the other side of the underpass. So maybe, okay, maybe, on the left hand side. Maybe a block away. Okay. And you said that that's typical of her to walk that distance? Yeah, she likes the morning walks when it's cool. Um, she doesn't like getting being seen getting out of certain cars. Um, you know, being in middle school, it's an image thing. Um, and she will sometimes like to hang out and wait for her friends. She's, she's known to do that. Do you want to just take a picture of your history? 
Yeah, it's fine. And that time would have been, you said, around 8... 8.20-ish, 8.30s, sometime between 8.20 and 8.40. What time does she go into class? Uh, she has to be there no later than 9.15. Doors open at 8. Okay. I mean, doors open at 9, I think. And, and then school officially starts around 9.20 or 9.28, I think. Okay. So got up. You dropped her off. Is that earlier than typical, later than typical, around the same earlier time? Earlier than typical. Really? We had made really good time that morning, and... With the subtraction of McDonald's, uh, we had more time than, than usual. Okay. And she said it was okay. She was very confident, convincing that it would be fine. And you saw what direction she walked to after you dropped her? Yeah, it looked like she was moving towards the direction of the school like she was supposed to. Was she still on the right side of the road or did she cross She was when I left her, yeah, she was still on the right side. I think one of uh, S23 I don't know how to work this thing. I'm sorry, I barely know how to work it myself. I'm an iPhone person. Uh, Is it okay if I go in your settings real quick? I just want to see if you're logged on to your Google. I am not logged on to my Google with that, actually. Is it okay if I check? Yeah. Does she have any other devices besides that phone? Any other electronics? She had her school laptop with her. Okay. Is that... Is that uh, still supposed to be with her? Still supposed to be with her, yes. Okay. And what kind of book bag is she carrying? Uh, black book bag with like gray, gray, grayish blue hibiscus flowers on it, like a print. When she leaves in the mornings, does she, what does she usually put her phone? Um, Either in her backpack or like her back pocket, kind of wherever she just thinks to, to put it at the time. Hold on, I don't know how to use this one. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Okay. I don't know, you've probably been asked already, but she's never ran away or been away for longer than. Certain period of time, uh, amount of time. Like no, that. she's very dependent on us. I don't think she'd know what to do if she did run away. She's not the type. She's a good kid. Yeah. Besides the ADHD, is she diagnosed with anything else? Uh, yeah, um, she was tested a while back and had some symptoms of autism, so she's potentially on the spectrum there. Okay. She was officially diagnosed with it when she was younger, and then she was retested and said, well, she shows symptoms of being on the spectrum, but maybe not full-on autistic. Is this what you use to... Um, go places? Yes. Go places, search addresses, look at store hours, write reviews. Have we had any updates? Uh, we literally have like 50 people right now on scene looking. I don't know if there's any updates. The best person would be the other detective because he's um, he's the one that is in charge of all this. Mm. I'm 
think I've eaten anything since yesterday. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are worried. When did you come back to help? Um, Pardon? Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Like, because you lived on South, right? Mm -hmm. When did you come back up north to help her? Um, I just got here this weekend. Do you remember what day it was? Uh, Sunday. Sunday was her birthday party. So, yeah, it was it was the evening after her birthday party. Sunday. Okay. Do you remember what time you got here on Sunday? Um, 8, 8.30ish, maybe. Okay. Just in time to make sure that she was doing all her nighttime routines. Wow, 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 Steve, Stefan. Your father said that you texted him when you got there. And he said you texted him when you got to kissing me at 6 p.m., 6.30, something, 6.45. But then your father also noticed that you took a tongue road, two tongues, about 8 p.m.-ish. And you just thought, oh, perhaps I've gone out somewhere for a meal. You know what I mean? So where was you going at 8 p.m. ish? So, 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 so. Your, your mommy and daddy have told us quite a lot, Stefan. I'm waiting for her mom to get home. You live in North Pole, right? Yeah, I split my time between the two. Is that places. on Snug Street? Snug Street, okay, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So you have a lot of Snug Street on here. Yeah, I split my time between the two. Is that Broward County or? Uh, Sarasota County, Sarasota. I believe, okay. or Charlotte County, either way. Gotcha. Um, it's my parents' house. They, they're old. They need help these days, and they got a house full of poodles. And, it's chaos. That's why I needed to come back up here and just. <laughs> I've been waiting for that. That for him to say that all afternoon, ever since listening to his the interview with his parents. Those old and I needed help with the hairs and the dogs. Stefan, you did nothing. You did nothing in that house. Your mom at one stage was going to put hazardous, a hazardous warning tab across your door. Because your bedroom was so, so bad. You didn't help tidy up. You didn't do nothing. So that's a load of BS. get away from that between two deaf old people yelling at each other and poodles yapping all the time it's enough to drive anyone up a wall it's very happy to be back here did you and your wife when you guys were looking for the, where did you guys look me and her stayed low did he just call his parents deaf Hmm, right. Well, when I was listening to that interview, I seemed to hear the detective very well. And the detective didn't have to repeat himself or shout anything to them. Well, it was all the rest of the family that mobilized and was, was beating the bushes. And, and Did you guys drive together or separate? Uh, I don't think we drove anywhere when we were looking. You didn't drive anywhere? I, not that I recall. Did you guys go anywhere last night? Yep. Was that media? 
Maybe. I think box 35 or something is coming. Yeah, let me, if it is, let me tell him to move to take it now. Okay. Um, I don't recall. You have to ask her if we went anywhere. I don't recall. I was so zonked out on Ativan at that point. Okay. okay. She said it was a wreck. Uh, I don't and see. this would have been when? Uh, I don't recall us going anywhere last night, but I, honestly, at that point, my brain was mush, and I was on so many tranquilizers to keep me stable. I was just... You said Ativan? Yeah. Do yeah. you usually take that? or? Yeah, I have a prescription. I haven't needed it in a long time, though. But, um, What's that for? Uh, anxiety. Okay. I was having these rolling panic attacks and breaking down crying, and I just... It got lost, sorry. Thank you. Right, Stefan. You had a doctor's... You had... All you had to do was pick up a prescription from your doctor's and go and get it filled. Right? Your daddy told us you didn't do that. Right? And in fact, Jen said, oh, that's all right. I've got some, I've got some medication here we can use. So you didn't fill your prescription. You're using medication that Jen was giving you. And we all know what sort of medication that was. It was prescribed, yes, by a doctor, yes. But it's what you have through a vape. So, you haven't got any of your prescription tablets because you didn't get, get it filled. And uh, it was the only way I could get to sleep last night. And then again this afternoon, that's why I missed your calls. I'm sorry. I so took an out of van and conked out for a few hours. It's the only time when I'm not crying. It's okay if I just pop down real quick. Do I? So we're trying to get just a good idea, times all that stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm giving my best recollections. I'm not a morning person as it is. You're not so any best. Times or best guess. Uh, but we know that you go up Jong Young Parkway. Down, that's the, yes. the road you usually take um, yeah. to take her. And then you make a left at that McDonald's, right? Which is in yeah. town loop. You can make a left to get there either at the McDonald's or at Town Center itself. They both lead to the school. So if you leave her at, just so you get a sense of direction, Jong Young Parkway goes northbound and mm -hmm. southbound. So you're going northbound mm -hmm. into Orange County, making a left at the McDonald's, which is the town loop. You said when you did drop her off, at that medium, you said it was around 8.20, 8.30-ish, somewhere around Some, that time? Somewhere in there, yeah. It was, okay. it was early, but not, like, outrageously early, you know? So what would you estimate when you made a left at the McDonald's to be? Uh, after I dropped her off? No, I'm saying when, when you dropped her off. Oh, um, first left... By that McDonald's. Yeah, when you first go, you th that first left that you make at the McDonald's. It had to have been around maybe eight, eight, maybe quarter after eight, sometime in there. Okay. Sometime between eight and a quarter after, I think. All right. So just so it's, uh, you can kind of picture it here on the map. So you're going northbound, you yeah. make a left here, 
around like 8, 10, 8, 15. Let's say 8, 15, around there. When you get over here, she changed your, you make a U-turn, you go back to the McDonald's. But you said that she still doesn't want the McDonald's. Still doesn't want it. She was just going to eat the Danishes that I had given her. So you're going up here now, still northbound on Joanna Parkway. Mm -hmm. You make a left at Town Center yep. this time. Town Center, then make, then a, make right a right onto mm -hmm. yes. And the then, then you drop road. her off around like dropped eight. her off around halfway up the road there. So keep in mind, all of this is still northbound. Okay. Right, you're still northbound on Jung Young Parkway. Yeah. So, why is your car seen going southbound at eight ten? At I'll show you what. Look. Yes, drop that bomb. Okay, sure it is. McDonald's is over here. Mm -hmm. At 810, your car is seen going southbound at this intersection. So meaning going toward Kissimmee. Mm -hmm. I had forgotten some I had forgotten my gate clicker. I'm sorry. I forgot I had gone back to the house real quick after we left. But no wrong answer because the security guard at the gate he said you turned around and told the security guard your clicker wasn't working. He seen the clicker. He also seen a young girl on the passenger seat with her head to one side and her hair covering her face, looking like she was asleep. So that one's just been blown out the water as well, mate. Because I forgot my game clicker. Um, I actually had to go through the front gate and use my parking pass uh, to grab my clicker. So it was the wrong time. I'm I'm sorry. I, I, like I said, I was guesstimating these times. I'm not a morning person. Okay. So yes, um, we've gone out. How far did you get before you came back down? The, uh, when you realized you forgot your clicker nearly all the way nearly all the way to the school um and then we turned around we had plenty of time to kill so it was time to go back i rushed back got the clicker and that's when i came back here this so way. you guys came back here to get your clicker Correct. So when we look at the cameras in the front it's going to show you coming back in Correct. here it with was, her in the yes, car yes with her in the passenger seat okay. yes so why didn't you pick your phone up as well, huh? And if this was all going on between 10 past 8 and, say, half past 8, right? Why did no one else see you? Why did Jen not see you? Why did none of the housemates not see you? Where were the housemates? Perhaps they'd gone to work. Jen, Jen, yeah, yeah, we know where Jen was. She was in bed still. I know it sounds like we're asking you stupid questions, okay? We no, just want to verify okay. I'm, the I'm times. sorry I'm not being more help. I'm not a morning person. I was half asleep as it was. I'm trying. The clicker's to get, to get where? To, in, into our neighborhood. Okay, and you, you forgot the clicker where? Uh, I forgot the clicker here. So how, how did you get in? I uh, was able to use my parking sticker for them to scan to let me through. Okay. So could you not have done that after you dropped her off? I could have, but I also like to come back in from the back gate a lot of the times. And I didn't know if I would be back right away. Um, and sometimes they're busy up front. So it's better not to wait in the line. Is, uh, what yeah, because the back gate, the security camera on that isn't too good is it right because the security guard said he's seen you coming at whatever time between 10 past 8 and half 8 right but he never saw you leave again what, 
what time is security usually there at the front gate? They were there when I came through. He scanned my ticket. Oh, yes, he was there. He told you. So would it have not just made more sense to drop her off and come back since security is already there? I don't know if it makes more sense. It's just what I did. Anything else that we haven't asked you feels important? Maybe that might help us out. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble recollecting everything. Uh, I'm going to step away for a second. Anything that you remember maybe she might have told you? She didn't mention anything in particular. I made a joke about her Crocs. She wears Crocs and socks. We were joking about that. Would she say she's usually like a happy, go, you know, very, go lucky girl? Very or? happy. She brings a lot of joy. She's a very good girl. It definitely doesn't feel the same around here if she's not here. She was so happy, too. She's looking forward to my visit here. She was looking forward to us all being together. She's just happy. She's just very happy. Oh, wow. I loved her like she was my own. And it's just, it's, is she the only? I'm just, you need to go and watch the three, well, I've got two up at the moment, but the third one will be up by 10.30 tonight, which is, what, 5.30 USA time. We'll be up. Right, as soon as I come off this live, I'll put that up. And you've got to watch those three videos and watch them all. They are so full of information. It's like, you know, you know when you got a book and you, you're in, so engrossed in a book you don't want to put it down. I didn't want to have to keep, I didn't want to st keep stopping the video and then restarting to do another. But I did because I know some people don't like sitting there for two or three hours. And that was like 45 minutes ago. So say 40 minutes a pop, that's, for, that's 120 minutes. Yeah. That's six, that's two hours sitting there listening to a video of them but it is worth every second the link i will put up i'll put all three video links into the description because this once i finish here this live i won't upload this live onto youtube until tomorrow morning because for some reason I have a faster upload in the morning than I do on the evening. So rather than miss it for like an hour waiting for it to upload and all that lot before going to bed, I can just log off and go to bed. Child or the chef's yeah. siblings? She's, she's oh, a, she is the only child, yes. Do you have any kids with anyone else? Or? No. no. So no. she's kind of... Mm -hmm. call me. So you guys, you'd say you guys have a good, pretty good relationship? Yeah. Definitely have a very strong bond. Just but, you know, I'm, I'm the person she goes to when her mom gets in a fight with her and she needs someone to comfort her and mm -hmm. like, um, I'm that person for her, you know. How's her relationship with mom? Good, most of the time. You know, Puri not long ago, so she's getting the PMS mood swings, and when mm -hmm. her mom gets them too, you know, they butt heads, and you know, so as well as you can expect. But Otherwise, very loving. Oh, we hear, we've heard that book takes literally daily. Very loving. Yeah. This girl knows nothing but love here in this house. She hardly ever hears the word no. Double-edged sword, that is. How is she in school? So-so. 
She says so in school. Like grade she, wise she's or doing a lot wise? better though. Apparently she just made student of the week. Oh nice. Okay. Yeah. So we're very proud of her. And she's doing singing choir. And she's sounding just amazing. She sang for me last night. I immediately wanted to show her the movie Sister Act mm -hmm. because because of the choir singing it was so pretty. It reminded me. I told her I was very proud of her. Does she have um does she like video games, anything like that? She does yeah. like video games, yeah. Um, she plays Roblox, Minecraft. I think those are the two big ones that I know of. You don't know if her to like ever have any friends on there that she talks to, anything she like does, that? She does. She does group chats. She does like voice voice chatting too mm -hmm. on it, usually with like her cousins or her friends. Uh, and they'll all be playing Roblox or something, and, you know, yelling at each other on the phone. Um... Yes, because she's got no bedroom, has she? Her bedroom is in the living room come dining room. Yeah. She's got no she's got these like shutters. Right? But she can't have a conversation on the phone without ev you, the mom, the housemates or anyone else in that house. Pretty full house. Hearing her. Because she's got no bedroom. When's the last time you all lived together? Mm, December. December. Okay. December. And you said the reason was for your, your parents down there? Yeah going down to help them because they're getting on in age and they're making their end of life plans and they need someone to help out. Can you lock this one again? Sure. What a load of BS. Um, I have a question. Yes. Sorry, are you guys done? No, we're good. Um, the other detective mentioned that you did not have your phone yesterday? Correct. Tell me about that. I left my phone at home in the morning, too. I was so busy riding herd over to get us out the door on time that I left my phone. She left her phone. Okay. We both left our phones. Did you have your phone when you went to the smoke shop? Not the first time after I dropped her off. I was still without it. Uh, I got it. I got my phone and went back to the smoke shop uh, okay. later when I got home. And then... I also noticed, I was checking your call history. I noticed that you don't have anything before this morning. Is that unusual on your phone? Uh, no, it's it's a new phone. I, stupid. I went to do an update yesterday morning, um, and I don't know what the fuck. So, pardon me. Um, I don't know what the heck I did, but somehow during the massive OS update, I managed to factory reset my phone. And lose all of my contacts, all my information. Mm -hmm. What time was that? Do you remember? Oh, sometime while I was hanging out with her, I looked at her and said, "What? What did I just do?" My factory reset. You have to. I believe you have to go into your settings and things like that, and it will prompt you. Like, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to reset? Yes or no? It prompts you. It's not somewhere, oh, you just sit some on the screen and it's gone. You have to go into your settings or something like that. And then it will prompt you at least once. Are you, like, are you sure you want to do this? But... Mr. Stefan, you didn't just reset your phone once, did you? No. No, 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 no. You reset it again at midnight, Monday night, at midnight. Zero, 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 zero hours. That's midnight. So you reset your phone again for a second time at midnight. 
So was that a pure accident as well? Okay. Um, she might know better. I don't know what time it was. It was when I was here. With... Okay. I don't think I have any other questions. Uh, do you, Louis? I don't know where my head was yesterday. It was so far up my backside. That's okay. We understand. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for all this to get sorted out, I am going to hold on to your phone, okay? Um, I'll give it back to you when we're done. Okay. okay. Do you have any questions for us? Um, how long are you going to need my phone? That's. I'm like, not sure. I'm waiting for my supervisor yeah, to call me. My dad. It's just my dad's using that to get a hold of me and get updates. Yeah, they can call Jen's phone. Okay. Did the other detective give you his business card? Um, I believe so. Okay, well, here's mine in case you want it for any reason. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you swear that everything you told us is true? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for yes. your time. We appreciate it. I know it's a little hectic right now. <sighs> and then I know you were about to head somewhere. If you can just hang tight and refrain from going back in your car, please. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I was actually going to move it over a spot. No, just leave it so. here. It's fine. Thank you. Right. Okay, well, all that was BS. All of it. Oh, let's take this off. So, Factory reset twice, not once, but twice. Um, apparently, from what I read yesterday, I don't think you did see Jen at all during the day. And then Jen, Uh, you phoned Jen to or something like that to tell her that you wouldn't be able to pick Mag Maggie up because you got a flat tyre. That, that part is true. That's the only truthful thing in that whole conversation. It's a flat fact that you had a flat tyre. Right, now... If anyone's interested in the interviews of the parents, it comes in three parts. There will be a link at the top of this page. When it goes up on YouTube, there will be a link just at the right-hand corner of the page. And it will say, say Madeline Soto. Click on there. You'll get all the videos I have done on this case so far. And I've got loads more to do. I've got a lot of catching up to do. Anyway, we are now... Right, if I can find it again. All right. Come on. Um, oh, where is it? Please, audio. If I can find it, I will watch. If not, I've got a few other little things I can show you. But, um, hold on, did I download? I think I did, didn't I? Well, I'm going to download, aren't I? Yeah. yeah, I did, yeah. God, I was just going to look for them all again, and I've got my downloads. Well, I don't know if they're in the right order, but I think this is the first one of when the police first get there. Hold on. Let's just check. I've got to present it. Let's 
So this is the body cam footage from the night Madeline went missing. Right, the Monday night. So we're going to watch this, but I want you to concentrate more on the body language of the people in the room. Right, if you can. If not, just listen to their words. That gives out a lot as well. They said, uh, it looked like five or six. Five or six kids at the park. All right, can you really up? Give me a second, bro. And I, Go ahead. Right, Are you able to pick up call 931, please? I'm currently work in uh, possible signal late. Can I hold off on that? Just that from the other one? 26. Do they speak English? Yes, yes. Okay. this is mom. This is mom? Okay. Hi there. Hey there. Hey there. What's going on? So, my daughter was dropped off close to school this morning, but never made Great. it. I went to the school. I'm sorry, one second. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> are we looking for another kid or we have a kid? Looking for another one. Uh, All right, so people are still on the team. Let's put that out uh, in the possible location. How old? I'm trying to get there right now. Okay. So she was supposed to be dropped off at school. Didn't make it to school. Didn't make it to school. I went to pick her up from school today, okay. and she never came out. They they announced it over the speaker, and I'm just like, maybe she walked here because sometimes she'll walk here to this office. Mm -hmm. Came here, nothing. I went back to the school, they were closed. I got a notice, an email from the school saying she was absent, but I also messaged her teacher and he looked at her entire attendance today and saw that she was completely not at school today either. Okay. Um, so she never made it. Okay, what's her name? Madeline. M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E. M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E. I-N-E, last name? Soto, S-O-T-O. S-O-T-O? Yeah. Date of birth? February 22nd, 2011. February 27th, 2000. 22nd. Oh, sorry. 22nd. 2011. 2011. So, so 13th birthday. 13th. What's the name of the signal age? Madeline Soto, age 13. I'm trying to get a clothing description now. What was she last seen wearing? Green hoodie. Um, Green hoodie. White Crocs. White Crocs. Either blue or black pants. I think black shorts. Black shorts. Yeah. Black shorts. Okay. Black shorts. All right. Do you know if she has like friends in the area? She does, but she doesn't know where they live. No. Point one. In her first statement, she gave to the police on the Monday night, back at the house, I should imagine. She said she saw Madeline, Madeline getting ready for school. Right? Then, with the police the next day, she says she didn't see Madeline. She heard Madeline, but she didn't see her, and I'm thinking, okay, now, if she didn't see her, how would she know what she was wearing, and it's just coincidental that on this very, very bad, grainy footage from the church car park at the church there is a person walking away with black shorts on a green top but the hair looks darker 
Now, this is why I say go and watch my three videos. There's two up at the moment. There'll be a third up by 5.30 USA time. 10.30 my time. And listen to what the parents say near the end. It'll be in video three near the end. Um, so, I can't really uh, put chapters in because it's like all over the place. One minute they're talking about this, next minute they're talking about, you know what I mean? I can't do chapters. I can just put main book chapters in. Anyway, so she says she didn't see her in her interview, but she's, oh no, it's black shorts. How would you know you didn't see her? Or did you see her? Or was it like what the, his parents believe? It was you wearing the black shorts and green top walking out to the car park on at the church. Was he? Was it you, Jen? Because I have not heard of any child coming forward or any parent coming forward and saying, no, that was my daughter. That was my daughter who I dropped off, who was leaving the church car park at that time. Don't know. The police haven't said nothing, and we've not heard nothing in the news, mainstream media, uh, on YouTube, anywhere, Twitter, anywhere. So I think it was, this is just my opinion, I think it was her. Mm. And when he went back down the road, yeah, but how would she have got there? That's the question. Because Magdalene was in the front car seat of the car. So that's a question. But it's something to think about. She doesn't know where she's going to live. Okay. I asked all of them. Um, okay. Oh, just some hours to think about. When Madeline was found, she had jeans on. He said jeans. She says no, black shorts. Right? But he said jeans. Because that's what they found doing. Now, I'd like to know, have they found the black shorts and green top? In the house anywhere? In the belongings, in the washing? I wonder. Is this like, does she like have any places that you guys know that she would be, usually be at? Any friend's house? Any places that like she likes to hang out? Not typically, no. Not typically? No. Okay. Um, just give me one second. Let me see if I get some. Thank you. No problem. And what school she goes to? Hunters Creek Middle School. Hunters Creek Middle? All right, cool. One, two, five. Okay. Do you guys have, do you have a picture of her? Can you airdrop it to me? Yeah, I know. Um, let me see which picture. I don't know which picture. You can recently probably from the birthday party, right? Yeah, but I wasn't there, so I had to look at. Mm -hmm. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That's what I'm about to grab right now. Yeah. All right, cool thing. Is this a good enough picture or do you need a whole yeah, body picture? Okay. Oh. I'm getting all this footage. It's so blurry. I'm not your job. I don't know how to do it. I got you. Okay, where's the photo? Right there. It's on WhatsApp. That's fine. 
it's not blurry now. Mm -hmm. I saved it to my phone. Like blurry. You saved it to your post? Yeah, because Perfect. we're future photos. Okay. I'm gonna send it out right now to my other guys. Thank you very much. No problem. Well, right, that's the first one. Right. Right, now we go to the second one. First showed up. So they they called since I don't even know when, but they whenever they what did they say that what did you call? My question is not why is it not a cool three when it first came out? Yeah, so I, that last time she was seen it was early this morning, like seven o'clock. That's what I'm about to see. I'm about to go check. I just try to get as much information now of her clothing description, then the Diaz the Diaz has a hit in like a, a big area full of kids. So if you want to help me out with this one. Yeah. Can my signal the export? <laughs> so the police got there about seven thirty. No, you know, thing. He's over there giving his bit of his narrative to that card, that innocent lag. Um, just in every word he's saying. She left at her home today. I have to just walk through. And I've already done her messages. Okay, how about does she have like an Apple Watch? No. She's got a device. The only device she's got on her right now is her school laptop. Her school laptop. Is that trackable? Yeah, I don't think so. It should, it should be, 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 it Possibly, I don't okay. know. She got dropped off. She was like, I. Um, so she's embarrassed by this car. So she didn't want to be dropped off at school. She wanted to be dropped off like half a block away so she can walk. Two um, things. She's in the face. But um, he dropped her off half a block away and drove away. Okay. Did she ever go to school though? No, she, we called school. She was walking in that direction. She was rifling through her backpack, slipping something. Yeah. Said he just dropped her off and drove away. Drove away. Not a care in the world, do you, love? You don't care about your daughter who was missing. You don't care about your daughter who was murdered. You don't care that much that I heard that you don't even keep her ashes. The father had the ashes. That's what I heard. I'd like to know, I'd like that confirmed if anyone knows the truth who had the ashes. She's more concerned about him. She's phoning his parents up to tell him to get a lawyer. Right? Listen to this. Your son, you need to get your son a lawyer. Okay, why? Because he's been charged, because arrested, because he's been found to have photos and images of him and my daughter on his phone. For how long? For two years. And she's as calm as... Pig shit. Right? No. She's more worried about getting a lawyer for him than the fact that he just killed. He has just possibly, at the time, possibly killed her daughter. Hmm? Hmm? She didn't even believe when the police told her, showed her these certain pictures. No, I don't recognise that. 
you know, don't recognise that. You're a piece of SHIT as well, Jay. I thought maybe she was just looking for headphones before she got her walking on. Yeah. Um, but she was just kind of, you know, shambling over in that direction. It looked the same as any other morning. Okay. Um, what was asking us? If she had went to school, and then she was um, going out. So, yeah. so I got confirmation from the school that she never made it. They sent me an email saying she, she didn't make it. Mm -hmm. But I also spoke to her or emailed one of her teachers directly, and he no. looked at all her attendance for all her periods and told me she she didn't make it at all today. Okay. Um. Say it again. No, she was, she was, she was supposed to have a book bag. She was supposed to go to school, but didn't go to school today. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Battery has GOA 213819 turtle back blue. Third party for Saturday. Okay. All right. Children cool, cool, cool. by two juvenile right. males. Say it again. Um, I'm trying to figure out uh, secondary spots, but so far negative on anything. Um, yeah, you could be 51 of me. All right, cool. Very cool. All right, cool. Yes, yeah, that's negative on that hit at the park. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sorry about that. I was just I wearing like, my hoodie. My alarm goes off. And when was the last time you seen her? Do you know the around what time? Around 8 30, 8 40 when we dropped her off. How tall is she? 5 1. Uh, weight 110 pounds, 110, 110. Um, hair color blonde, blonde, like that, dirty blonde. Dirty blonde. Dirty blonde. like a dirty blonde, yeah. Like okay. Um, eye color blue. Does she have any markings on her, like any scars? She any has a like distinctive beauty mark on her face, on here. her face, on the face, like mm -hmm. below the nose or near the nose, yeah, yeah, yeah. like right in that area there. It's, it's very distinctive, you'd know if you saw it. Big. Any other scars or anything like that? Which scars? No. 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 Tattoos. Tattoos. Yeah. No. 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 You'd be surprised. Like <laughs> Did you put out the description? I put the top part out. I didn't get the rest of that stuff yet. So I need to put it out. Can I just see that phone? Black shorts, white pants, black shorts, 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 I'm getting a random 407 number. Walk his face now. Walk. Yes? Walk his face. Hi, Principal. I'm okay. How are you? Mm. Mm. Um, hey. no, hey. Big guy of relief. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find her. Right. Does she have any social media or anything like that? She has um, Instagram. Right here. 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 Right here.
Right. So that was that one. Come on. Um. Don't worry that one. Do we've seen that one? Uh, let's have a look. I don't think any of these are much better now. The, you know what I mean? Mainly with the dogs. Or you just trying to figure out where you want to go. That's just a dog, and he doesn't get a scent. And he poops on the grass, and he don't, they don't pick it up. A mile away. So, <laughs> just prepare. Let's see what this one is. What they hear? Around where these communities were. Oh, thank you. So it's like around where these communities were. Okay. And it's just like in this stretch, like we could see the, the overpass down there. Where's the, where's the school? Uh, just on the other side of the overpass. So somewhere around here. So yeah, somewhere maybe not this one, but the next one possibly is right in this stretch. And we just came down and we drove about halfway down. She was like, "That's good right here." Okay. On the second floor. I haven't seen this one. I'm just going to talk to you my window. I've been going right in the back. Thank you. 
they took a 10 8 north of the complex 2108. Say it again? No. 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 Go ahead. Twenty six number. Supervisor on the channel, twenty six call holding. No, no cameras as of right now. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we can find something. Yeah. So, all the other videos are just of the dogs that lead to nothing and things like that. And the one with the most watch time was when they went back to the house. But, as soon as they open the door, as the police go in to speak to them, all that information they've got on their body cam literally 40 odd minutes has been redacted blacked out so obviously they don't want the that info going 
getting out to the public. So there's something in that video like telling them something. You know what I mean? So I'm going to... I, I swear to God, I am just dumbfounded by all this, all these interviews. I can't believe they've released all these interviews. But some of the interviews, like with Jen, it's being redacted because you have these like silent moments where like when her name's been mentioned or that, but anything like that's been mentioned, they've redacted it and blanked it out. But the one they did with the parents, they're mentioning Magdalene's name, they're mentioning Stefan's name, they're mentioning Jen's name. There's mentioning lots of things. Lots. And nothing, to my knowledge, I never heard anything being redacted from that. I never heard no quiet moments. Right? Maybe at the beginning when they're giving the names out and whatever. But otherwise, no. Never had no quiet moments in that interview and it was as I said, all my all my videos I've done on that interview are like 45, 40 to 40, 45 to 48 minutes long. So say 40 minutes each, yeah? And uh, that's two hours long. Two hours of interview. And you get a lot of information out of them. You really do. Because what have they got to lie for? They haven't. And you know what annoyed me? And I said this in the videos. Is a lot of people have been giving the parents a lot of stick. A lot of abuse. Everything. And um, it's not fair. They wasn't the one that done this. But they believe his, their son is take, being the full guy. They don't believe he was the one involved in the unaliving. But he's taken the fall for it because he feels guilty for what he did to Mag Magdalene. You know what I mean? What's raining? Anyway, so... Tomorrow, I'll put a video out tomorrow, because tomorrow night I'm going live, but I'm going on about the Sebastian Rogers um, benefit ride. So I'm going to ha see if I can uh, piggyback off someone <laughs> and try and get it live streaming. If not, I'll stream it, but I'll be like five minutes behind. So they'll start their live stream and then I'll just rewind it, their live stream, and then start it on my channel. So that it's always like a five minute delay on it. But I don't know, I might message one of the, someone and say, are you doing a live stream tomorrow night? If so, would you mind if I was to stream directly from yours onto my channel? You know what I mean? I don't know. Some don't mind doing it like that. Some of the YouTubers are okay. Some can be a bit funny. Some are okay. So I might just play safe and just... Because I, some YouTubers say, oh, you got you should give it 24 hours before you stream any video, any lives that we put out. Which I do normally. But on times like this, people like to see it. So... Yeah, tomorrow I'll put a video out. It'll be out for four. It'll be up on YouTube by 4pm tomorrow. And that will be covering the security guard at the, at the gate, the grandmother, the housemate. I think there's one more person I can't remember. But the security guard one is good as well. 
So when I put that out, that'll be out by 4pm tomorrow on YouTube. So go and watch that one as well. This will be out put up on YouTube in the morning. So this will be going up on YouTube by 11pm, 11.12pm, lunchtime. So anyway, let me know what you think. If you're watching on replay, let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Have you seen all the other videos that it lives? If not, go and watch the interviews of Jane. The two interviews that I put out for Jane. And the three videos I've done on the interview of the Stephen Stern's parents. Right. And that. It is so... Oh, expensive. I just put it as explosive because it's like, boom. It's like this bomb's gone off and they're just letting go. They're really saying what they think, right? They really are. They're not holding back really. Well, I think they are holding back a little, but they're not holding back too much. But go and watch it. It's just unbelievable. Best interview I've seen out of them all so far. So, for me, I just think, I read something yesterday that law enforcement weren't looking at, wasn't, wasn't looking at pressing charges with Jane Soto. But I also read a headline saying, Kissing Me PD was not looking at pressing charges. And I thought, okay, if that's Kissing Me PD, Police Department, what about Orange County? Are they going to press charges? And they was going on um I think it was the um going on those interviews there from the body cam. They was going on those interviews from the body cam. I'm thinking ying, 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 no. you wanna go back over all the other interviews. The interviews she did with the newsreel people. Um, the police interviews, you want to go back over them because they are so telling. You need, she should be charged with something. I can't believe they won't charge her. But we don't know, that's just for now. They said they're not looking at pressing charges. That was why. But I think Orange County could. They've got enough evidence there, and I think they've got enough evidence to press child neglect charges, which is, I think, five years max. And if it's com if it's complicit with uh, endangerment and something like that, then you're looking at 15 years or 30 years. So... Because she's the one who gave, was giving Stefan Stearns the green light. Yeah, go upstairs, you two, just go upstairs. Go upstairs, I need a good night's sleep. So please, if you haven't watched them interviews, please go and watch them and give them a like. Because I take flipping ages to do. <laughs> Especially when I'm editing them out like... One of the interviews, the two interviews I've done, one was with Jen, the first one was off another YouTube channel. So every time she stopped and spoke, I had to edit that out. <laughs> and, um, well, I didn't have to, I could have left it in, but I didn't want that, I just wanted the interview. So that was a lot, that was a lot of editing out. And this, these three I've done today, oh my God. Not too much editing on these three, actually. It's just that I kept making a mistake and I'd have to redo it again. And it wasn't little mistakes, it was big mistakes. Like, my mic wasn't on for 10 minutes and things like that. So, I really should keep them videos because they're my, my bloopers. I do a lot of bloopers and videos. I should keep them sitting on and just put all my bloopers out on a, one video. 
I've, I'm doing it for a week's live streaming, a week of them. Anyway, if you're watching on replay, please give this a like. If you're watching and you've liked what you're seeing, please give it a like. If you're on Twitter, show me some love. Leave me a comment because I do read the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are, your opinions are on this case. And do you think Jeng Soto is somehow complicit in the unaliving of her daughter? Right? And do you think she should be arrested? Let me know. So, until then, until tomorrow night when I'm back on again, I will have a video out tomorrow afternoon, but until tomorrow night when I'm back on again, live, I'll see you then. So if you want to see the benefit ride for Sebastian Rogers, come and join us. I think it's 5pm uh, their time, your time, so it's about, no, is it 5pm their time? No. Can't be. Because that would make it 10 pm my time. No, it's got to be earlier than that. I think it's five. I think it's 2 pm because I thought all oh, that would make it 7 pm my time. Around about 7 pm my time. So please come and join us tomorrow and we'll watch the benefit ride together. So until then, have a good night and thank you for watching.